friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Miss Ellie. And I just woke her up from a nap to come on here. She was outside playing with my husband in the backyard and she got a little bit pooped out, I think, and she fell asleep and I had to wake her up just to come on. So I think she's wanting to just go back to her little nap. But she has a pretty yellow bow today. She's all ready for spring. I know some of you where you are are probably snowed in. I've heard of the very bad weather in the on the East Coast. Uh, we're cool, but sunny. We've got we've got some sun going on. So I'm going to check and make sure that um, everything is working as it should, and see if I can see some of you on here. Let's see. There we are. Hello, happy happy Wednesday. I'm glad you guys have stopped by today. Um, middle of the week already it seems like this week is going by fast last week I felt went by a little bit slow but this week is going by faster so I'm really happy to see you and we have a fun card we're gonna make today and some um, some news some new things going on one thing I wanted to remind you about is my new host code every month I have a host code and if you don't know what that means it's a special code that you put on the first page when you place an online order with me and if you put my host code on there when you place an order of $50 or more you will get a free gift from me for that month a, a special gift because you used my host code because it, it uh, benefits me and I have a really amazing and great gift this month. Hi, baby. It's the, the brand new gingham embossing folder. And I know that you guys are going to want that. Every so often I kind of splurge. Usually I will give embellishments or something like that. And I just decided, oh, I'm just going to splurge for all my customers. She's got hair in my mouth here. And uh, for everyone that uses that host code this month for an order of $50 or more in February, I'm going to send you the gingham embossing folder. I think it's a really great gift. Hi, Diane. Yes, um, a yellow bow. She doesn't wear those so often. Good to have you back. I'm sorry you were under the weather. That's not good. And hi, Diane Emerson. Good to see you. So anyway, be sure you use that host code. And it's I've got it written right above um, on the Facebook people for the YouTube people. Um, I You can find it on my blog. I don't know that I always put it there, but it's something I will add uh, if I remember. I'll try to because it really is great to get a free gift. And I send the free gifts out about the middle of the following month because I have to wait for the month to close and then I order the free gifts. So I'm real excited to be giving those. Thank you, Sharon. Good to see you. I'm going to put Ellie down because I have something I want to show you. I want to change the camera around. And I think she's she's looking down at her bed. <laughs> Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, so let's um, flip the camera down, and I want to introduce something that is new this month um, through May from Stampin' Up! It's a, it's a new collection that they're releasing, and it's called the All Together Collection. And I, I wanted to um, kind of explain it a little bit to you so that you would know. Um, it's a stamp set called Here Together, and coordinating dies with hands with the little finger clasped and making a little heart and the sentiments are so so nice you matter to me love changes everything really nice sentiments and the dies I am I don't have this yet and I'm excited to get the dies because I love word dies you know that and this says you matter the words and here for you and so I love those words and that I'm really looking forward to getting the dies and then the two hand motions. And along with this, their interest, Stampin' Up! is introducing a whole new collection of neutrals 
Stampin' Blends. All Look at all those different shades. Now, right now, you can get all of the stamp these Stampin' Blends, this Neutrals collection, together for one price. After, after this um, special offer is over in May, then you will have to buy the Stampin' Blends in packs of two. So that's really a great way to, to get all these beautiful new Stampin' Blends in all these neutral colors. And then in addition is a brand new set of designer series, package of designer series paper, and it's black and white. And I really love it. Again, I don't have these yet. I'm looking forward to getting them, but I wanted to get the word out to you right away that all of these are available. You can find them in my online store. The link is up above. If you're on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, it's down below. And this is a beautiful, beautiful collection. I know the stamps that we'll be carrying over into the next annual catalog, I'm not even 100% sure about the dies. I saw something about the dies are while supplies last. That could just be because of their, um, because of the shipping issues with dies. Um, the paper will be while supplies last, and the, again, the blends collection is only until May something. I think it might be the end of May when our new catalog starts, but then you'll be able to get them in individual packs. So that's the scoop, that's the news. Um, more news is that Celebration is continuing. This is the last month to get free gifts from Celebration. And for the Starter Kit Special, um, where you get two free stamp sets. So lots of fun things going on. But today I have something I don't usually do. And it's a, a guide card. I don't usually do guide cards, do I? And here is the card we're gonna make today. And the reason we're doing guide cards is because I needed one. <laughs> Excuse me. It's my husband's birthday tomorrow and I needed to make a guide card. And so, like I said, I don't usually make guide cards. Um, I'm more into the frilly and the flowers, but I needed to make one. And so I designed this and I pulled out some beautiful new designer series paper that we have with the new mini catalog. And it's called, um, I, I was thinking about the all together, it's called um, Hey Sports Fan is the name of this beautiful designer series paper. Uh, great for guys. And I wanted you to know, today I want to show you how you can make a card with just designer series paper. I think I've done this once before and I want to show you again today how to make a card with just DSP, we call it for short. And that's pretty much what I've done with this card. So let's take a look at the Hey Sports Fan designer series paper. And I've got it cut in half just so it's a little bit easier for me to handle so that I can show you all the different sheets in this paper. Here is a great um, sheet. And this some of these can be used for all kinds of different things. Nothing to do with guy cards. Isn't that cool? That is a beautiful piece right there. And um, just to note, the colors in this designer series paper are all based around very vanilla. We normally use basic white, a bright white color, but this designer series paper is all built around very vanilla. So when you use make a card base or anything to go with it, you're gonna wanna use very vanilla. So that's one side. And here's the other side. We're using this today, so I only have one sheet of it because I've been using it up. But it's a neat um, green. I think it could be mossy meadow. I'm not sure, but again, with very vanilla dots. And I really like this paper. Here's another one that we're going to be using today. The stars are very vanilla on bumblebee paper. And on the back, baseballs. It is geared toward baseball. But my husband, he does like baseball, but he also really likes football. And I think it can cross over, so that's how I'm using it today for my husband's birthday card. And his birthday's tomorrow, so good thing I made it today, right? So here is another one of the papers. It has baseball diamonds. And this, the back of it is this, this nice um, stripe, kind of like uniform stripes, baseball uniforms. Um, then here are the 
um, here's the equipment that's worn by a baseball uh, player. And this is the other side, this fabulous, I think that's Poppy Parade and Very Vanilla. Isn't that a, isn't that a really pretty paper? I think I'm going to be using this for other things. I really, I really like it. Then here's another one of the papers with tickets on it. Admit one, ball game, play ball, some, all, and if you have boys or, or grandsons or daughters that play baseball or um, Little League, th this is a fabulous paper for them. And here's a, a blue wood grain, Knight of Navy is the color, the blue that's used here. And this is what we're going to use today. We're going to cut out some of these pennants so you can see that I already cut one out. But I think they're great. You don't even need a stamp set to create this card. I am using one on the inside of the card. But to create our card today, I'm just using cutting out some of these pennants to put on the front of the card. And then the back of the pennant paper is this, um, it's just more, it's a baseball look. I don't really know what you call it little anyway you recognize it it's kind of a baseball paper so let's get started and see how to make a card a guy card with only designer series paper and I think it turned out really great I really like it you can see how I cut out a couple of the pennants um, happy day and celebrate so let's get started and remind me the prize is at the end. I'm awarding the prize at the end. So don't let me forget to do that because sometimes I get a little, I get, I can get forgetful and carried away. So we're going to start out with a uh, card base, the standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And what we're going to do is we are just going to layer some of these beautiful papers right on top of this card base. And we're going to start out with the dotted paper that I showed you. I really like this and you know I normally wouldn't think to put green on navy quite like that but because they've used it all the same. Hi Linda, good to see you. Because they've used it in this um, designer series paper I feel confident in doing it and you know you can just take your clues so many times when I'm creating a card I take my clues from the designer series paper I'm going to use many times. That's how I get my inspiration. And what we're going to do, I've taught you this before, is we're going to go down a quarter of an inch every time we put a new layer on. Prize, yes, prize. Thanks, Linda. So the front of our card is four and a quarter by five and a half. So for this layer, we're going down by a quarter of an inch and we're going to be four inches by five and a quarter. That's when I learned that, it was just such a wonderful revelation. Okay, now we've got our next piece is another piece of Knight of Navy, and this is going to be three and three quarters by five. And so we're just going to keep building this up. You know, the other thing I like about layering cards, kind of especially for guys, is that it gives a sturdy feeling. And I think the guy might feel like, okay, this is not some flimsy little card. This is a nice, has a nice heavyweight feeling. By the time we get all these layers on, it's going to have a nice heavyweight feeling. So those are three layers. And now we're going to add our stars. I really liked the star layer to put the pennants on. I think it brings such brightness, but it's not a bright yellow like Daffodil Delight. This is the, um, this is the bumblebee color with the stars. And here's the back. If you were going to do it for a baseball player, a grandson or something like that you could certainly have the bats showing the bats and balls but we're just going to use the um, the stars I think they're they're more celeb celebratory they're more birthday-ish so we're going to use the stars and there are our four layers that have built up our card and that is a nice sturdy little card and we're going to work on the inside later also so now let's look at our pennants and you can choose again our goal here is to make a card using just designer series paper no stamping all you have to have is some pretty designer series paper and so what i did is i chose two pennants from the the sheet of paper with pennants 
and I, <coughs> excuse me, I've already cut one out that says celebration, and then I'm going to cut another one here with you, and this one says happy day, since it is a birthday card. I wanted to use the happy day pennant, and these are a snap to fussy cut or cut out. We call it fussy cutting. I told that to a girl over the weekend um, when I was stamping with her and she just burst out laughing. Fussy cut. Ha ha ha. But it, it is. It's what we call it when we don't have a die or a punch. But this one is mostly straight lines, curved lines. It's really easy. It just takes just a second to cut out these pennants. And I think they, they really say kind of hooray for your birthday, which is what you want to say because it's an exciting day everybody's birthday is exciting and special and I think if you if you get a hold of some of this designer series paper you'll be able to make a lot of cards for the guys in your life so the other one I put the happy day on top but this time I think I'm going to put um, the happy day on the bottom so what I'm gonna do here I'm just going to bring a little piece of grid paper just to protect and what I'm going to do is just put a tiny bit of glue, just a few little dots on this um, part of the flag. I don't know what you call this, just the little where you would hold it, a little stick. I think it would be on a real, on a real flag. There we go. I'm just going to get a little bit of glue and then I'm going to put the other flag right over that and tr so it gives a it helps them to stay together lined up kind of the way I want them to and we'll just give that a few minutes to set up thanks Linda great colors I agree they're they're really they're great guy colors they're great fun party colors so we've got that I'll just set my grid paper off to the side and now this is all kind of one piece and we're ready to just put it on the front of our card like that let's make sure I have it the right direction okay and we're going to use dimensionals to lift those um, pennants or banners up I'm going to use two dimensionals on each one one more toward the edge there and one toward the center and this will really adhere them nice and strongly to the front of the card. That dimensional got just a little crinked, but it's okay. It'll turn out just fine. So we'll get the, you have to be a little bit careful with the, with the two pennants, and then I'm going to put them at an angle like this. Happy day and celebrate, and now they're nice and securely on that, um, on that front of the card and we're not even going to worry about this little tail. I'm going to get my little scraper here to get my, this is my kitchen scraper. Have you guys gotten one of these to use for getting off your little um, dimensional dots and other little pieces of paper? I just, I got it on Amazon. You just scrape little things off. It's very quick. Okay, there's the front of our card. I think that's a pretty cute Oh, flagpole. I guess I do mean flagpole, Diane, but it's kind of short. So I guess that's why I was thinking it was maybe one that's, you know, a flag that someone would hold in their hand and kind of wave. But flagpole, it's a short flagpole, but thanks so much. Good help. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little decorating on the inside. And I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock, which is three and three quarters by five. And then I'm going to add a couple of pieces of the designer series paper like this. And for your information, I've got all my measurements right here. Um, the star strip is three and three quarters wide by um, one inch. And we're going to put that right at the bottom. And then we're going to layer on the green dots, which we used on the outside, too. I kind of think, you know, I don't know. It just seems a lot of people do like things on the insides of their cards. And I don't usually, I usually will stamp something. But this time I thought we'd use some of this pretty designer series paper. You know, I didn't like this paper in the beginning. And now that I've worked with it, I do really like it. 
and then the green dot strip is three and three quarters by five eighths. And the way I figured that out is I really just wanted a, a row of dots. So I cut on each side of the dots just to get this little row in here. Come on, glue. Okay, here we go. And I think it makes kind of a fun little inside like that. I kind of like that. Now what I decided to do, I don't have, you can just write in there, you don't have to stamp, but I thought I would stamp Happy Birthday. And I love the Happy Birthday from Sweet, the Sweet Ice Cream set. It's a nice, bold Happy Birthday, which I think guys like, um, like a bold Happy Birthday, not a little tiny, you know, tag saying Happy Birthday. So I'm going to use some Night of Navy ink. And I, in case I would get it crooked on my on my sheet, I'm going to use an, an extra piece of Very Vanilla, and this is, um, I don't know, three and three quarters by about three quarters, or one. I guess I didn't, oh yes, three and three quarters by, no, I don't have that. Okay, so it's about three quarters or one inch, and I'm using Night of Navy ink. And remember, this is a photopolymer stamp. Yes, it is a pretty font too, Linda. I agree with you. Um, so we want to make sure to have padding. And I have about two layers of padding down here. So I'm just going to stamp right on that. And then we'll glue this to the inside of the card. Isn't that a nice happy birthday? I think it's nice and bold. Even though we said happy day on the front, I think it's good to say happy birthday. And I think we can do that after we put this piece down. So let's go ahead and glue this piece on the inside. But you just as easily could have written happy birthday in, you know, you could have printed it large or something. So I want you to know the goal of this card is really just to make it with only designer series paper. But for my husband, I felt like it would be nice to just add this little strip of happy birthday. And, you know, I just am really emphasizing that the our designer series paper, just the Stampin' Up! designer series paper is so, so pretty. Just like the new one that's coming out with the all together, the black and white. So beautiful. There we go. So that's the inside of our card. Isn't that fun? And here's the outside, and it's a nice, sturdy card. I think it's a good guy card and we're even going to do an extra thing we are going to put a little strip of the designer series paper the stars right out here on the outside of our envelope and this one is four and three eighths is the is the length and three quarters is the width so we're just going to put a little glue and get that on the outside of the card i wanted to make it seem really special, you know, decorate the envelope and the inside. And my biggest thing was I wanted it to be different, not something I usually make. So to surprise my husband, <clears throat> my husband, because he he's used to the cards I make and I think this will be a real surprise and he doesn't watch my Facebook lives. So I feel pretty, pretty safe with this. He doesn't usually watch them. He rarely watches them unless I ask him to, <clears throat> to tell me something. So I think our card today turned out pretty cute. And again, it's the Hay Sports Fan Designer Series Paper. I think you'll really like it. If you have guys in your family, I totally recommend picking some up because you can, there's so many papers that you can use, so many uh, sheets designed, designed different sheets in this paper, in this designer series paper, and I think you'll get a lot of use out of it, and I think I will too. So let me come back up here, and we'll do our prize. Okay, there we go. So our prize from last week was the Textures and Frames stamp set that was a celebration stamp set last um, during our last celebration in 2021. 
and we had a lot of response. I had a lot of you uh, saying prize, and the random number generator um, chose Rhonda Amos. She was a Facebook, um, a Facebook person that watcher that put prize, and so Rhonda, I don't, I don't have your address. You're you're kind of new to me from last week, so be sure to. Um, email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com so I can send this fabulous stamp set to you. And I mentioned before, and if you're watching, Rhonda, be sure to look on Pinterest for the name of the stamp set and you'll see some amazing things that they've done with it, that different uh, stampers have done with this stamp set. It's really a great one. And for the rest of you, the prize for next week, okay, I almost didn't even want to give these because I love them and they're a little hard to see. They're the new iridescent rhinestone basic jewels and you think, eh, just rhinestones, but not at all. These are new and they're, they're so faceted that they look like whatever you put them on. They pick up the color of whatever you put them on and they're brand new. They're from the mini catalog and like I said, I, I really wanted to keep them because they were the only extra package that I had, but I want you to experience them. There you can see them kind of from an angle. So I'll be giving them out, awarding them on February 9th, 2022. So if you're watching on YouTube or you're watching um, live or a replay of my Facebook Live, put the word prize and you'll be entered in the random drawing that the random number generator will choose. I, I do it right before I come on the air on Wednesday. So you have all the way up until next Wednesday to write the word prize, either on YouTube as a comment or here on Facebook as a comment, and you'll be entered to win these fabulous iridescent rhinestones. And now I'm going to have to order some more because I'm giving them to you. Kathy and uh, Diane, thank you all so much. Thank you for stopping by on this Wednesday. Um, it's been great to see you and show you a guy card. I'll be back on Friday, and I don't think it'll be a guy card. We'll go back to, I have to go back to my, to my pretty cards. Um, but I look forward to seeing you then. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.